Assalamu alaikum to all the Muslims and peace be to all the non-Muslims. Um, again, this video is directed to the atheists. Um, atheists believe in something called subjective morality, which is different to what Muslims believe. They believe in objective morality. We believe in objective morality because we believe that, as Muslims, that God created everything and He's all, he's all knowing and the owner of the universe, so He says what's right or wrong. Atheists disbelieve in this and they say there's no God, you know. So at the end of the day, everyone has their own morality. There's a big problem in this. If you're saying that there's no God and He can't define what's right and wrong, then basically it's up to any, any in individual to choose his own right and wrong meaning that for example there's no God so right and wrong is whatever you decide is right and wrong so the problem with subjective morality is that it only deals with you for example say there's two um, two atheists one atheist believes it's wrong to rape the other one doesn't believe it is yeah so atheist number one, he believes it's wrong to rape. Atheist number two, he doesn't believe it's wrong to rape. Atheist number one cannot say to atheist number two that raping is wrong for you. Why? Because atheist number one chooses his own category of what's right and wrong. So who is he to play God and tell another human being who is equal to him that you have to choose this as right, right, and you have to choose this as wrong, you know? And if you don't, you're wrong. How? Because if no one can come along and tell atheists, number one, what you should choose is right and what you should choose is wrong, yeah, then he can't enforce it to anyone because he's just another human being. So, um, my question to atheists is that can you prove that atheists is, uh, that rape is wrong for another person? And you can't because the um, the criteria that you use, you set your own right and wrong, and he sets his own right, right and wrong. So you're left to do yours and not enforce yours on anybody else, and he's left to do his and not enforce his on anyone else. But you cannot say that his decision to believe that robbing, rapism, killing, food, whatever it is, is wrong. Because he's using the same criteria as you, but he just made different choices. Whereas I, as a Muslim, I say rape is wrong because God created the universe, he's the most intelligent and he says it's wrong for everybody. You see what I'm saying? Whether you agree with me or not, yeah, it's up to you, you know? And I'm not going to physically try to do anything to stop you in this society, or, uh, you know? Uh, but at the end of the day, is that whether you believe it or not, I can believe you're wrong in my thing because God is all knowing and He created us, He said it's wrong, so it's wrong for me, it's wrong for you, it's wrong for everyone else. But as atheists, you can't even think that, you can't even think that what He's doing wrong because you're left to choose your own views and He's left to choose His own views, yeah, and whatever you choose is your entire woman because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, that you make up your own morals, you know what I'm saying, there's no creator, so leave Him to do His things and you to do your things because once you say to him you're wrong you're saying you have the authority and you're the god yeah and you're the you're uh, and, and, and you're spent more important than him and that what you say should be listened to and why if you're just another human being like him so um take time to think about that and send me your comments please peace